So in 1910, what do we know? We know that genes uh, carry traits. We know that through Mendel. Um, so physical traits that we have, they're carried on genes, but we don't know where genes are. We know that uh, chromosomes exist. We know that they look weird in cancer cells, and we know that they're vital to the development of the cell. Now, Bovary at this point, or Gerard Butler if you prefer, uh, hypothesizes rather boldly that all cancers are caused by abnormal chromosomes. That cancer was not a uh, diverse group of, of different maladies, but that they were one disease with a common cause. Uh, now, uh, this, of course, uh, flew in the face of his, uh, his boss, his former boss, Fierchio, who thought that it was, was caused by inflammation. So he said, no, 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 he got it wrong, I got it right. But he hadn't proved it. This was just a hypothesis, it was a guess. It had, it had, had not been proven. For that, we need Thomas Hunt Morgan. Uh, he's the one who uh, essentially puts together the work done by Mandel with his peas and everything that we've seen before. He's the one who discovers that genes are physically located on chromosomes. How does he do it? Well, he's working with fruit flies, and he notices that a trait in fruit fly, which is white eyes, is only present in male flies, never in female flies. He knew that maleness was carried on chromosomes. And he knew that white eyes was a trait that was expressed by a gene. And so genes had to be carried on chromosomes. 1926, what are genes though? I mean, okay, fine, so the genes on the chromosomes, but are genes made of a magical substance? Of course they're not. Uh, so we go to a very, very important discovery uh, made by a bacteriologist in New York called Oswald Avery, played tonight by a character actor, Toby Jones. Um, he, uh, he made a very, very interesting discovery. And his discovery is the following. We knew that uh, genes could be transmitted from one generation to the next. He shows that they can also be transmitted from one organism to its neighbor. So a, even if it's dead, so a dead bacterium can transmit its genes to a living bacterium. So a bunch of chemical molecules can transmit one of its molecules into another living bunch of chemical molecules. Once again, there's no special life force. It's all about chemicals. So he goes and he looks at these chemicals one by one to find the one on which the genes are. And he discovers that the genes are carried on this molecule deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA. Now at the time, we don't know that it adopts this double helix shape, but we knew it existed. We just didn't know really what it did. Uh, some scientists had dismissed it as unimportant, and one scientist in particular had referred to it as a stupid molecule. But as it turns out, DNA was the least stupid of all molecules. 